it's time for a uh, little tutorial. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with my makeup uh, just yet. Um, I'm going to kind of uh, see how I feel as I go along, but what I am going to be using are some of my new products, my NYX Suede, my Bourjois Rice Powder, and my NYX Matte Lip Cream. Uh, oh, and also my L'Oreal Lumi Primer. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to a birthday party this evening. I uh, thought I'd get my makeup done and out of the way because we're going to go for some drinks beforehand. And also because my lighting setup is pretty crap. Oh, and so is my camera tilting. There we go. Um, I thought I'd make the most of the natural sunlight coming in through my window. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, enjoy! Okay, so firstly I'm going to use some of my Lumi, um, Lumi Magic uh, base primer. A couple of pumps on the back of my hand. I'm just going to sort of apply that with my fingers. I've already moisturised using some Nivea Sensitive Day Cream. Now it is rather illuminating, getting a lot of shine off of that, but that's what we're going for. Foundation I'm going to use today is um, Dream Satin Liquid from Maybelline, and that's in colour Light Porcelain. Again, a couple of pumps. Ooh. Don't tell me I'm running out. Oh. And a damp beauty blender. I'm just going to use it to dot around a bit first. And then, I do need to get another mirror. And then I'm going to use it to just bounce it over the skin. all around and basically we're just sort of filling in the dots okay um, I'm then going to pop on some concealer I've got some uh, lasting perfection uh, concealer in Fair, which is by Collection. It's available in um, Superdrug Boots, I'm not sure. Uh, and some small pharmacies and stuff as well. I tend to take just a little bit on the chin and a little bit around my eyes, my nose. And just use my beauty blender again. In that same motion, just sort of dabbing. So I'm going to give this a go. I've not actually used it yet. Um, it's quite alarmingly pink in there. Um, and quite shimmery um, but people say I've had a look around and people say that it doesn't show up on the skin so I'm just putting some in the lid and using a big fluffy brush um, let's see how this goes it smells very nice, it smells quite old-fashioned which is understandable as it was made for their um, 150 Anniversary. Mm. It feels very nice. It feels um feels very light. It has set in some of my rough skin, but 
that's going to happen unfortunately skin texture is a bugger and um, it's not really going to get covered up by makeup unfortunately um, <laughs> oh there is a lot of as with the loose powder a lot of fall down no, you can't see on my top but it's there I mean there is a slight shimmer to it but it's not like your face is covered in glitter um, I am going to start off using um, Crown Brush HD Blending Crease Brush and I'm actually going to start off with uh, a Meron colour from the Meron 207 Eye Palette. And I'm going to take Nat Wheat, which is this one here. I'm just going to take that all over the lid just to use as a sort of transition colour. So I'm taking it over the crease. Into that inner corner. A little bit underneath as well and it also just helps soak up any any of the foundation that didn't get caught by that powder just make sure it's really set in there to avoid creasing so taking that again on the other side okay so that's going to provide us uh, with a base to work from because um, all of these shades, as you can see, they they all do have like a pearl or sheen finish. So I might use like a, a matte shade in the crease, just so it's not too too shiny. Okay, so I'm gonna I am gonna take toffee from this palette, which is here, uh, using this brush again and just really softly just pop it into that. Um, into the crease. Finish. Okay, so I'm going in with the other eye, just a dab of that toffee colour taking it into the crease and blending it out I'm also going to take um, maybe a little bit of the cocoa which is this shade here and just go over that as well just to give it with the same brush just so it's got a little bit of that toffee left on it Gives a little bit more, a little bit more depth. I think I might be wrong. Um, so I'm going to clean off that brush with my stipple sponge. Basically, uh, acts as like a a comb. Uh, and while it doesn't give a hygienic clean, it will give you enough of a clean to go between colours. A bit snuffily. Um, so I think next I'm going to choose this colour. It doesn't have a, uh, a name, it's just got a number. Uh, which is number two. Number two. Uh, and I'm going to take that on this odd little brush that I don't know where I got it. No idea. Um, so I'm going to take that onto the inside corner. You can probably hear my husband shuffling about. He's about to go get his hair cut. Um, next shade I 
think I'm going to give this copper a go. Very nice. And I'm going to take that just in the middle section. Sort of the middle and then just there. So it's sort of the... That... Like a half and then to three quarters. If you get me. I've got to stop looking at myself. I'm so sorry. I've got to look in the camera. So vain. I have to look at myself in the side, in the flip. I'll learn. I'm still new. And then I'm going to take it slightly up and into the crease, but avoiding the mobile eyelid in that corner. So just a light brushing over where those mats went. Okay, and I'm going to take my blending crease brush again and just sort of ever slightly blend between that light lighter shade and the copper. Just softening the edge by just stroking it towards the, the lighter colour. Then I think I'm going to go in with this sort of it's hard because it's a kind of reddish burgundy cranberry brown, I think. It's a tough one to, it's a tough one. So for this colour I'm going to use my Royal and Langnickel pointed liner brush um, with a bit of that burgundy and take that in. Sort of softening the edge between where I put the copper down the middle and at the edge there. Because this one is more of a, a matte that has a shimmer in it, sort of a, a micro glitter in it, rather than it being an entire shimmer all the way through. And then I'm just going to use that again, just to give it a soften at the edges. And I'm going to clean that off again and use, where is it, the highlight shade in my um, Barry M Brow Kit, just to blend the edge between those darker colours and into the brow bone. So going over the brow bone com completely and then just the back and forth just to blend that edge in together and a little bit around there just to just to soften it round. I'm going to take a little bit of this lightest shade you can see just there take a little bit of that just in the corner there just dab it in just to brighten that up this brush is probably a little bit too big but I can't really be bothered to switch it out at this point okay so I think that's pretty much my eyeshadow done there we go. So now I'm going to take in. Oh, should I do my eyeliner first? I'll do eyeliner first. Okay. So, eyeliner I'm going to use today is 
Where is it? There we go. Rimmel Scandalize in Black, which is a sort of, it says it's a gel liner, but it is more of a cream. So for my liner, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Angled Brush, which is the E104. Um, and I'm going to start by just really tightly, thinly lining next to the lashes. And just seeing how I get on. I was hoping my Real Techniques silicone brush might have arrived by today, but no such luck. Probably Sod's Law. It'll arrive as soon as I finish this. So I've just realised my laptop is open and it's kicking out so much noise. I'm going to tr just try and get really close to those eyelashes because my eyelashes are so actually really fair considering I do have quite darkish brown hair um, my, eye my eyelashes are really fair and I have to really really get into the roots to get a good eyelash line um, Time for the click. I'm gonna do this. Not my best work. Oh, I'm probably gonna be wearing my glasses, so it'll be fine. Oh. Oh. No, I'm gonna stop messing with it because it looks fine. It looks fine. It looks fine. This side probably won't be so fine. Right. Ooh. I might go back to liquid to be fair. I've been trying with cream. Or maybe I'm just using a bad one. Ah, feckin' bell ball. Well, instantly, you can see the fucking difference, can't you? Ugh. Right, I'll thicken this line. A touch. Mm. Okay, so I just went ahead and did the other eye off camera because it was just going to be a whole bunch of swearing and stuff. Um, I I think I did okay in the end. I had to even out this a little bit. I think I did okay. Um, I'm going to take my pointed liner brush from Royal and Langnickel and I'm going to take a little bit of that um, sort of cranberry-ish colour uh, just underneath the um, eye, just on the corner. So just like that, along that lower lash line. Okay. And then again on the other side. It's 
makes it a little bit more grungy, I think. I mean, not actually grungy. I'm going to take a little bit of that copper over the top as well. I'm going to pat that on, actually, because... Uh... Oh, that was horrible. I'm so sorry. I'm a bit snuffly. There we go. That's it. Okay, uh, lashes. I'm going to give uh, my eyelashes a bit of a prime with the Mania, uh, sorry, Mana Beauty Simplified Simpling Condition Conditioning Lash Primer. I think I said that right. Um, it's a white primer. Um, I've been I've used it a couple of times, but I'm really bad at paying attention to my eyelashes and stuff like that um so I can't really tell you if it's worked well uh, but it does seem to give a bit of length I think I think maybe just because it's a little bit stringy and it um Maybe just gives a, a further little tip to the end of the lashes so they look even longer. Maybe. Okay. Right. So. Okay. I'm okay. And then I'm going to take my Jelly Pong Pong Fairy Lashes Curl Mascara and pop that over the top. My teeth look white. Oh, there we go. I'm not going to talk you through this because I feel like you probably already know how to apply mascara. Probably. And if you don't, there's better people to learn from than me. Okay, so I'm going to very carefully take a bit of that on the under lashes as well. Under lashes. Bottom lashes. Bottom. So now I'm going to do brows using this and this to start with and then another one afterwards. Are you going to get in the way? R really? Oh. Okay, so I'm going to take this sort of pomade stuff. Pomade? Pomade. It's a funny word. Pomade. 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 Don't say it a lot. Okay, and I'm gonna go along the bottom line first, small strokes, and then flick up. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you. That's the one. Now, as always, um, you can do what you want. If you wanna, um, if you don't wanna fill your brows in, don't fill your brows in. If you wanna go big, mega brow, 
Instagram, like, full on carved brow. Don't do that. If you want to shave a patch out of your eyebrow, I'd say the 90s want their fashion back, but yeah, go ahead, go ahead. If you want to have no brows whatsoever, or draw butts on them like Jack Rackins. Um, who's another YouTuber who you should all follow because she does amazing goth stuff. Um, that's cool too. There might be loads of people out there watching this now going, Oh my god, you're doing it so wrong. But, I like it. Works for me. Feels like it. I'm going to do like to extend it just a little bit. Sorry, I'm a little bit hyper. I've not had any breakfast yet, so I'm a bit... This is an angled brush, by the way, you can see there. Probably should have zoomed into when I was doing the eyes, didn't I? Lesson learned! Learned? Learned. It's a bit more of a bitch brow, isn't it? That one. <clears throat> Why is that upset? Hmm. Ah, fuck it, it's staying. Then, sorry I snorted again. I'm so sorry. Then I'm going to take this uh, filbert brush from Meron? Meron? Meron, yeah. I keep doing it. I'm so sorry. And then take some of the powder in the middle there and just take that through. Basically just to set that. Spoolie and just go through. Just to get any excess out. And just keep them in place. Um now I really feel like I like in real life, I really feel like I don't need a highlighter because I've got that Lumi Magic primer. Oh no, I'll zoom out. I've got the Lumi Magic Primer and I've got that illuminating powder. I feel like I've got a big white shiny face. So I don't think I'm going to use a highlighter. I should probably use a bra. A bra, a bra. <laughs> I should probably use a blush. Um, I didn't pick one out. Wait there. I'm a bit like, I don't wear blush. I don't wear blush much. I feel like I've got such a big red face that it looks stupid. That I'm just... Mm, I know you probably should, but I don't know. Um, right, I'm going to take from the Meron cheek palette, which is grubby as hell. I think I'm going to go for Mojave on the bottom there. Okay. 
happy and all of that. better warmed up a bit I'm gonna take a little bit of this color which is contour and just do a little just a little slight powder contour not much just a little boop I'm not sure I like that so I'm gonna take my um Beauty blender with some excess foundation on it and just go over to just blend and soften a little bit. Okay, so last bit is our lips. I got some new NYX Soft Matte Creams the other day, and so I'm going to give a can a try. Uh, I don't actually have an eye, uh, a lip liner that's that close to this so I'm going to use this which is Rose Quartz Rimmel uh, Lasting Finish um, but hopefully it'll be okay so I'm just going to line my lips And then I'm going to take the NYX matte cream, oh it just smells divine, it actually matches a lot better than I thought it would. I'm not going to lie, the package does make it seem a bit more brown, but it's a lot more pink, um, but mm, so nice, so creamy, it smells amazing, feels really moisturising, it's quite matte, obviously it's not a full, like, full matte, but I'm sure it'll dry down a little bit more as well. Okay, well, I think that's it. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair because I'm terrible at hair. <sighs> yeah, it's still wet at the moment and just piled back. But anyway, thank you very much. This is a, actually a better light. I probably should have done it in this light, but... Yeah, it's done now. So, um, from me and my baby cat... <gasps> good, good, have you... <laughs> Have a good day, thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye!